Hello, we're out here at the Global Family Farm on Sunday, June 6th, and we're planting summer crops because there we are, we're in June now. And so we're going to be planting things like squash and beans and sunflowers and corn. And let me show you where. So at our Global Family Farm, we have Adam here today helping uh -oh. in the Americas. Uh, that's where corn and bean and squash our indigenous crops too so we're planting the Cherokee Trail of Tears beans to pay homage to the trials and tribulations of the Cherokee peoples they took these black beans with them we saved the seeds from last year and planting them to climb up these uh, bamboo posts uh, we already have squash coming up so we're going to be planting corn as well uh, I'm not going to do the three sisters method. I'm going to plant them close to each other, but not crammed up into the same spot. I've learned that it's actually really tricky unless you have authentic indigenous wisdom to know exact plantings, uh, spacing on the corn bean squash. It could get too crowded. So over here in this is the Africa section, we're actually clearing land to plant corn and its relative, which is sorghum. Uh, many African people do rely on corn as a staple crop that came from Americas and we're going to plant it over here in Africa. I've seen many uh, indications of uh, African people subsistence farming relying on corn as their grain. Okay, to get ready to plant our corn, we're getting some weeds out and then we'll put compost. So it's really all about covering the earth with either edible crops or compost uh, or beautiful crops. So that's what we do out here. We're covering the earth with something beautiful or something edible. That here today, we're planting more Swiss chard in the European section so that we have more vegetables to feed more people. Thank you for coming today to help. All right, we have the People's Revolutionary Garden Network here today. <laughs> and they're helping to feed the world. That was my goal in college too, was to help feed the world. And so they're doing that by um, harvesting these crops that will be then given away in Santa Maria today. Beautiful. All right, we're getting ready to plant the corn. We're going to plant a sweet corn, Silver Queen Hybrid. You can only just use this seed once, right? Hybrid means you can't have open pollinated. It's not an heirloom variety. Um, it's not going to breed true to form. So you have to get another hybrid Silver Queen package next year if you want that same thing. But originally, in the indigenous tradition, Corn had so many different colors to it, and then uh, it was hand selected uh, by indigenous people for um, the traits that they wanted, whether whether it be the texture, the size, uh, the flavor, um, etc., and keep that seed uh, to plant for the next year. So this is considered to be a ornamental corn, um, sometimes misnomered as an Indian corn or, or more proper appropriate uh, Native American corn 